$28 for hand sanitizer. Great. Thank you, Lululemon. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, I question a lot of their design decisions because why would Lululemon make bras for bigger cup sizes? Like that's out the window. Why would they do that? Why would they include bigger cup sizes? What? Crazy. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Ashley. If you're new here, if you're enjoying the content, make sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button if you want to stick around for more. Make sure to go check out my last anti haul and my last vlog, which I will leave linked down in the description if you want to go check that out. Also, my Instagram, my TikTok, and my blog will be in the description if you're on the lookout for more content from me. Let's get into this anti haul. So I didn't do one last week for a couple reasons, mainly because grad school has been kicking my butt. I just have so many assignments going on right now and they all take forever and my anxiety has not been the best. <laughs> so productivity is definitely not on an all time high right now. Um, I did kind of go into it a bit in my last vlog if you wanna go check that out and also in my upcoming videos, I'm gonna be talking more about that because you know, mental health is so, so, so important to me. But also, there really wasn't much that came out last week. Like, I kept a lookout and I was like, I mean, there's a couple new shorts colors, but I just also didn't feel the need to like make an entire video commenting on a couple new shorts colors. So anyway, we're here. We're gonna roll with it today. Lululemon's coming out with hand sanitizers, which, I mean, I guess my big thing is it's not like we're in a hand sanitizer shortage as much as we were last year. So I'm kind of like, was it really necessary for an activewear company to come out with hand sanitizer? Like, I don't know off the top of my head how much it is. I don't even think it's on the website yet. Let me see. Oh, it is. No nasties, hand sanitizer, $28. For hand sanitizer, how big is this? 16.9 fluid ounces. Spread love, not germs. Also, I'm confused because I thought Lululemon like got rid of all their self-care stuff. Like it all went on markdown. I guess they're just trying to revamp it. I don't know. $28 for hand sanitizer. What is going on in the world? Infused with probiotics to boost skin's natural defenses and releases moisture. Oh, infused with essential oils. So you can get your hands on some essential oil infused hand sanitizer for a nice cost of $28. Great. Thank you, Lululemon. That's exactly what I needed. Exactly what I needed. Thank you. So starting off, see like these are the the new short colors that I was talking about. Carnation Red was a color. It was out last summer too. And it's funny that it looks more orange to me. I don't know if I'm alone on that one. It is a nice color. Um, I'm surprised they didn't change the name like Lululemon often does when they recycle colors. They kind of just kept it. But anyway, a new short color, exciting content. Sonic Pink that is very new and very bright. Again, I'm not a big fan of this camouflage pattern. I definitely think this looks better than the leggings and a couple of other things in this pattern. I ranted about this a lot in my last anti haul. if you wanna go check that out. <laughs> so I'm gonna to keep repeating myself. Okay, this I don't believe is new unless they just did a restock because everything's already sold out. This definitely already came in. Okay, well, the one thing that's hard, I, I digress, is Lululemon, there was porcelain pink, feather pink, and this is pink mist. So I know for a fact there was a scuba oversight half sip in, I think, one of the other two names. Also, there's so many also's today. On the app, there isn't like a what's new section. There hasn't been recently. I don't know what's the deal on that. So instead, it's just like an overwhelming amount of just every single product in existence, whether it's new or not. So. I could easily just not be paying attention. Tidewater Teal is such a pretty color and so is Grape Thistle. I would love both of these colors in really anything. Wonder Trains, Aligns, Oversized Crews, Hoodies, Tank Tops, the list goes on. Speaking of which, I'm kind of wearing a throwback, throwback piece right now, if you will. This is an all yours cropped hoodie and it's kind of like a slightly more lightweight material, 
which I kind of like. And this was an algae green wash throwback. These are very cropped, so I don't wear them super often, but I pulled it out of my closet yesterday and I wore it to work and I was like, wait, I actually like, like this. So, and this was like one of the first random markdown pieces I got with my employee discount. Fun fact. Anyway, love Tidewater Teal. The Grape Thistle ones aren't new, but I just still love Grape Thistle. Like I was talking to a guest in the store yesterday and she was looking over on the, some of the men's product and it was like a Grape Thistle kind of hooded sweatshirt thing a hoodie that's what it's called Ashley and she's like oh my gosh I really like this I hope they come out with more stuff in this color I'm like I'm literally with you on this one I would love more grape thistle you know we got smoke spruce which I'm filming a try on haul soon I'm just waiting for a bunch more stuff to come in the mail that I somehow ordered anyway my credit card's not loving me right now and I did end up getting the matching smoke spruce set with the leggings and the up to train so I was like so excited to wear it the other day. I was like, I have my first matching set. It's been a saga, if you've been following. It's been a saga. A couple other new colors, nothing crazy. Okay, so these are new. The Aligns in Yellow Pear. Now, I know I didn't like Yellow Pear when it first came out, but it's definitely grown on me. Like, I'm kind of a much more indifferent. Like, I don't necessarily see myself wearing this color, especially in leggings, but like, I don't hate it. I think like when it first came out, I was just kind of like, I don't even, I, I don't even, I don't even know but came out in yellow pear and heathered tidewater teal, which I actually think is quite cute. I might, might snag these because I don't know, it's muted, but it's still tidewater teal. I don't know. Yeah, I really like it. I'm just like blankly staring at my phone screen. Cool, we like that. I think this is really pretty wheat yellow. I hope they come out with more. I hope they come out with more things in this color. There was also like a honey, a honey yellow that came out in like a couple accessories that I would like love for them to drop more in. Wheat yellow, wild mint. Wow, that is stunning. I'm not a swiftly person, especially like a swiftly short sleeve. I could see myself like if I was to wear a swiftly, it would be some sort of swiftly long sleeve, like the race length, the shorter one. I mean, worst case I could get it hemmed. But yeah, I love that color. Yet so many colors in the swiftlies. Wow. Yeah, wheat yellow, stunning. Also, it goes well with, I think that's like the new blue, blue borealis color, something like that. Anyway. Okay, see, this is, I think, what helped my opinion of yellow pear is seeing these two colors together. It honestly looks really nice, especially for the summer with those, with the pink and everything. Oh, this is new. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised they came out with the one brown camouflage align tank, which went on markdown quite quickly too, but they chose to come out with that one before this one first. Yeah, this one's gonna be super popular. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised they came out with it in that. Again, gorgeous on her skin tone and it goes really well with the rhino gray. So yeah, I, I, I can appreciate that. Yeah, more race links. Okay, Sonic Pink. Yeah, literally, they're finally coming out with some super fun summer colors and I'm totally here for it. Because this one, I'm okay right now on Perfectly Oversized Cruise. I'm okay on sweatshirts. Ashley, you do not need any more, but this is warm coral. Come on. Like, this is a little bit less bright than... It might have been Carnation Red last year. They had a Perfectly Oversized Crew in it. I can't remember, but there was like a color. It was like a bright orange that was out last summer, and I like this one better. I mean, again, it's definitely going to go on markdown. It's definitely going to go on markdown. Give it like five or six weeks. Also, I love when you guys <laughs> DM me on Instagram at Coffee Nut and I'm, mo I'm most active over there. And you guys will reach out to me like, what, when do you think this will go on markdown? Like, like when do you think this is going to go on markdown? And even I'll just like talk to my coworkers at the store and I'm like, yep, this is going to go out. This is going to go on markdown in four weeks. I'll give this one six weeks. I'll give this one two months. You never know. It's a party. Okay, this I was shocked to see. I was shocked because this was the tie-dye fail fiasco that was 2020 for Lululemon. And it was not this color, but it was literally the exact same thing. It was an all yours tank and they also came with an all yours hoodie. They were on markdown for a while. Surprisingly, not many people loved them. I mean, I didn't love them, but again, that's just my opinion. And yeah, I, I'm quite shocked. 
I'm quite shocked. Marmalito Tie-Dye Ocean Air Tide Water Teal. What a mouthful with that name. So, I mean, I don't have anything against this one. Like, I definitely think the ones last year were much more tragic. Like, they just looked so screen printed. It's, I did a couple and hauls on it. I can't remember. Maybe I'll put it up here if I can find it. This one, like, you can still see even here. Like, it definitely looks a bit, like, a bit screen printed, but definitely not nearly as bad as last year. Like, this, I don't really have anything against. Like, I think this is a really pretty combo, especially with the bra they put on her. I just don't love the All Yours tanks myself, but I was so shocked to see this. So shocked, because we all know how late lululemon was to the tie-dye trend more new shorts again see like i just didn't want to sit down this week and make a video i'm just like new shorts colors they're like yep we got an icing blue tracker short that's new <laughs> icing blue that's a fun name though i like that and then this is kind of kind of new well like in in this short not in general which i'm pretty sure the jacket that they made with this pattern i think it was a break of trail that one I marked down like at least three weeks ago now. So I don't know, that's quite interesting. Okay, this was new. I like was scrolling by this and I didn't even notice it was new. I'm, okay, so I totally get the functionality of this. The gloss trim runs super high rise tight. Of course it's online only. So for the people that like wanna see it before they buy it, I mean, yeah, like obviously you can return it, but it can be a pain. Um, I do see the functionality of having that like loop to, you know, tie something around your waist. Like I understand the functionality of that. I just think there is a lot going on here. Um, there is the matching bra, which we shall get to, but I just think the ribbing on the side is, is a lot. Like I think if they did a thinner stripe of the ribbing, it would be a bit more appealing in my opinion. Like in the black, you can't even really tell from a distance. You kind of just see the the gloss trim okay that's interesting it's made out of new lux interesting so what the fast new breeze are made out of i would have guessed lux stream or everlux actually so that's quite interesting okay yes and here is the matching bra radiant motion bra of course it's for bc cups because why would lululemon make bras for bigger cup sizes like that's out the window why would they do that why would they include bigger cup sizes what crazy i do like the style of it though like i do like the the trim's quite subtle same with the ribbing it's enough but it's not like extremely overpowering it kind of just goes around the bottom the seam in the front does kind of give me tragic flashbacks to the wonder train longline bra when i tried that on that was the one massive critique that i just couldn't get i just couldn't move past was that that little trim in the front just like sticks out and highlights the wrong places but i do understand like it is there to add shape like that seam is similar also to the one in the free to be serene bra which is quite flattering like it definitely does add shape in that bra so i don't know exactly how this would work in this one but that's just kind of my take on it also i did do a whole lululemon bras explained leggings explained and shorts explained if you're interested in those as well this is kind of new i can't remember if this came out two weeks ago or i think it was last week i don't know the weeks have just been blending together since i've literally been hibernating in my room at my desk for like three weeks now but i mean you know your classic yoga bra made for bc cups again are we surprised not really it is cute though like I do like the wrap detailing and I like that the back is quite simple because sometimes it's just like overdone when there's too much going on. So this is quite tragic. Synthesized Jacquard Starlight Gray Fog. Okay, it doesn't look as tragic close up. I think I judged it too quickly. I don't know. I just feel like the tone of it, it's kind of like a more warm brown tone. I don't know, I guess it's just like messing with me. I would never wear this personally. I don't, mm. I don't know. Like, I can appreciate that it is a pattern that is more down the neutral side versus, like, something so bright and out there that less people would go after it, if you know what I mean. But, yeah, this will definitely go, this entire pattern will definitely go on markdown. I'd say give it, like, four weeks. Okay, this, this, OM to the G. I was shocked to see this. 
I love the way that they did this actually. Camel wash willow green army green. Yeah, I love the way that they did this. Like it's not too much dye, but it's just enough. And the colors go together and they make sense. I could definitely see them coming out with like a matching jogger to go with this. And then similarly, they came out with that same, that same tie dye wash in the cutout short sleeve. I don't know, I can't get behind the cutout trend myself. If it's a trend, I don't know. Okay, this I didn't exactly completely understand. Like, it looks very fuzzy, this pattern. This is a back in action. Like, like very grainy. Like, you know, when it's like very pixelated and you're trying to like focus on it, but it's like very old, so it's grainy. I'm not making sense. Yeah, it's too speckly. This was interesting. Ah, uh, the LA ribbed boxer short. I actually love the way that these look, but if you watched my LA sweatshirt review, which I did a while ago, I genuinely haven't put on those shorts since doing that mini review. I'm worried about the waistband, but this waistband doesn't look as long as the other ones that I tried. But I really like the Desert Sun, and what is it? They're pairing it with a top, but Again, that's definitely not made for anyone with a bigger cup size, so um, love that, but the shorts look super cute. Yeah, how, how many inches are they? Oh, they're only five inches. I guess I'm thinking like the all your shorts are seven inches, which are quite long, but I think it's just because of how high rise they are, they look a bit longer. Seven, in, or sorry, five inches is not bad at all. That makes, that makes sense. Similarly to the black camouflage we just saw, this one just looks really fuzzy. I don't know, like I'm kind of, I mean, overall I'm quite indifferent on it, but I guess more so I'm just intrigued, speckled camo. I'm intrigued with their design decision. Okay, I question a lot of their design decisions, but I kind of just want to know like what they were going after. Like, is there a demand for speckled camo that I'm just completely being ignorant about? Also something that I noticed too going through the website is so many things have been moved to online only. So like my store had Invigorate 28 length and now apparently they're online only. And there was like a couple other things that if I see I'll, I'll shout them out but a lot of stuff got moved to being online only which in a way kind of makes sense because like for example my store I never had anyone come in asking about a longer length of invigorates or wonder trains but they were nice to have because people were asking for them for so long see this is the all your shorts this is see seven inches just looks a bit long for me also i'd be worried like how boxy they are on like i feel like i would look massive okay this was another one the rain chaser jacket is now online only it honestly took everything in me last year to not get the rain chaser because i tried it on it was like so cute like it was cropped like just enough but it wasn't overly cropped and it had that boxy look but it wasn't overly boxy so yeah that's online only now this is online only but i mean this is definitely newer a zip up shirt jacket it looks cute like i definitely like the style and the way that they paired it but i just could never justify 178 dollars for what are they calling, what are people calling it, a shacket, a shirt jacket? Yeah, I just would never be able to justify $178. Mini side segment, looking at the we made too much. I'm not shocked that this went on markdown so quick. Like this design went on markdown so, so quick, quicker than I even thought it would. It's the, it's the lavender kind of camouflage. And yeah, almost all of this pattern is now in Markdown. And yeah, that just went on Markdown so quick. And I wanted to mention that because even I was surprised how quick it went. I mean, besides that, the Markdown section is, you know, very, quite predictable. Like this pattern, the Urban, Urban Tricity has been on Markdown for a couple weeks now. They're still trying to get rid of that. This I was surprised to see go already. One of those jackets from, I don't know if it's like, I don't want to call it a collection, but I mean, I guess like the evergreen collection. Okay, this was that break a trail jacket I was talking about. I guess the pattern that I was referring to earlier is definitely different than this one, 
but I mean, I guess you can kind of see where I was going with it. This is, yeah, okay, we're just gonna stop talking. Also, I wanna note that they are still trying to get rid of the Warmer Star Sherpa pullover, which came out either October or November of 2020, and it is now April 2021. Um, and they went on markdown either Boxing Day or right after Boxing Day, and they're still trying to get rid of it. Like, they're still trying to get rid of it. Also, I think I saw the Sherpa scuba half zip they're still trying to get rid of as well. I think, I, I just honestly find it interesting to see, like, what things take a while to sell versus others. Kind of just like a side thing. And I'm gonna end that off there. I feel like, you know, we've, we've been chatting for a while now. But if you came this far, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. And for those of you that stayed till the end, I have like a big life update coming in my next video. I've kind of put off posting it because it's, you know, it's kind of big news, I guess. Um, you know, switch, switch switcheroo with, uh, you know, a nice little switcheroo with uh, jobs in, in my life. So... Yeah, I'll be getting into it and announcing all of that in my next video and sitting down and chatting. So keep a lookout on that and you only know about that because uh, you watch till the end because you're a true one. And thank you. I appreciate you. But I hope you have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week. If you've been an anxious mess like me, virtual hug. We got this together. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.